hello everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to share with you all about how you should start your chemistry preparation for NEET 2024 so i think the main problem which mostly aspirants faces while studying chemistry for NEET is they don't know what to study and from where to study and then think that this subject is confusing but the one answer which i am going to share in this video will definitely solve all your queries so firstly the main problem you face in chemistry is many of you are from different coaching institutes and uh, let's suppose your teacher told you to read chapters only from their notes no offense to them but this is the single wrong advice that can ruin your entire subject as a fresher you did everything which your teacher told you you followed their notes solved questions from coaching materials revised those notes to the extent that you even memorized each and every page you even revised those notes more than 100 times but the result is none so here i would request you guys to not to fall in the trap of offline coaching institute modules or notes instead you can take help of online coaching and one of my favorite online coaching platform is physics wala so if you see mostly neat and j aspirants study from pw online coaching because it literally helps aspirant plus they have great faculty at minimum cost and now pw is celebrating their foundation day in which they have come up with mega offerings and mega launches and this offer is valid from 27th of may to 2nd june so if you are in 11th you can join pw arjuna need 2.0 2024 batch in this batch you will get 11th board and need syllabus this batch is starting from 29th may you'll get all three pcb subjects with dpp mock test and many more second batch is luxury need 2.0 2024 batch for 12th board and need 2024 focused batch this batch is starting from 12th june 2023 and again this batch covers all three pcb subjects and third batch is pw yakin 2.0 batch which is india's strongest need dropper batch and this batch can be your road map from 250 to 650 basically this batch is specially designed to crack your need exam and this batch is already started from 18th of may and most important this batch is available for hindi medium students as well in this batch you'll get two sets of teacher team alpha and team legend with test series on every sunday dpps with video solution in details are available ncrt discussion pyqs revision of short notes formula sheet and mind maps are also available Special offering for this is that you'll get Yakin 2023 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 batch with Yakin 2024 1.0 batch, which means you'll get total five batches along with student parents dashboard plus test analysis and PW mentorship by thousands of doctors. Need 36 year books are also available for all PCB students, and in these books you'll get chapter wise and topic wise solve PYQ 100% questions solved and curated by the expert faculties all need and aipmt questions covered from past 36 years and 100 percent solutions verified from nta answer keys and the price of this book is just 500 so grab this offer now and you can use my code to get 150 rupees instant discount and all the links and details are given below in description box make sure to check it out and now let's get back to the video so now you have revised all your notes probably 100 times still your result is none and surely you will be able to solve your questions from the class notes but how many of them are actually from class notes in the main paper hardly 15 to 20 out of 45 the rest of them would seem so out of syllabus that you either leave them or you use your reasoning skills to solve them and when you calculate your marks it's never more than 120 to 140 you're lucky if you somehow touches 150 barrier and when you look at toppers marks they are never less than 160 you just wonder what else are they doing you have literally memorized each and every page of your chemistry note but still you seem to have stuck in the same score range then you think is there any solution after looking at toppers marks you ask them what did they do different literally 100 percent of the time you get to hear one single word that is ncrt and now the main problem you face while studying ncrt is you start with a chapter 
director from NCERT. At first, it seems humongous with so much information, but still you try to go through the whole chapter. Anyways, thinking if NCERT can make any difference in your marks now, you with your sheer willpower finish a chapter somehow and you think now that you have done it, your scores should improve, right? But again, the result is none. Your marks hardly increases by 4 or 5. At this point, you start to lose hope thinking chemistry is not for you. You start thinking maybe you should focus more on physics and biology. Now, why did this happen? Why did your marks not increasing even after studying a chapter from NCRT? So, do you really think that after going through a chapter once or twice from NCRT is going to make any difference? Did you really memorize the information and data and other stuffs that were in the book or did you just read it and thought now I see how it happens and then forget it? Did you try to memorize the reactions given there or you just simply ignored it by thinking now I know the concepts but I don't think it's important enough to memorize it so let's just move on to the next part. Have you analyzed the tables and charts thoroughly or just looked at the chart thinking that probably some useless stuff and numbers. I don't think they're gonna ask some random data in, in exams. Teachers never told us about that. Most probably, no cut that probably, you definitely didn't do that and that's why it didn't make any difference. Don't think that you are expecting NCRT to be some sort of magical lifesaver, one gaze over which can cause all your doubts to go away. You need to put efforts. Now the solution to all these are firstly how to properly study NCRT. First of all, ditch that false hope of increasing your marks drastically just after one reading from NCRT. To be very clear, unless you can visualize each and every page, might sound impossible but your target should be that. You have to keep revising the same book NCRT and say goodbye to your class notes. Secondly, what are the points that you should focus while studying from NCRT? First is tables and charts. If you see one of these, never ever ignore it. No matter how insignificant it seems, try to do thoroughly analysis of each and every information and make orders from that table and write your observations on the book itself adjacent to the table. Second is boring theory and long text. You never skip a single line in biology and CRT, right? Then why this discrimination here? Carefully read and try to memorize. Don't just think that understanding concepts is going to solve everything. Read it, understand it, memorize it and repeat it. Third is graph. Chemistry graphs are no different than the physics ones. You always try to understand how a graph is plotted in physics, right? Chemistry demands the same. Look at the graph, understand it, draw it, memorize it and then repeat it. Fourth is diagram. Treat each and every diagram in chemistry book the same way you do for biology. Draw it, memorize the labelings and then repeat it. And fifth is linking. Link the information you know with each other. The theory text you just memorize, link them with the graph and diagrams and table data, everything will start to make sense. And also link different seemingly unrelated information from two different chapters together. In other words, make information webs. And if you follow all these things, chemistry would definitely be your subject. So with this, that's it for today. I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to share in comment box. And for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all on my next video. Till then, bye-bye and stay safe.